welcome aries i'm back y'all with another video so let's talk all right so this is the a message for aries sun moon rising venus north node south node um if you have aries anywhere in your placements you can utilize this video all right so the cards have been pre-shuffled before coming on camera so i'm gonna just shuffle a few more times and then we're gonna go from there okay message for Aries please give me a message for Aries for September for the remainder of September please give me a message for the remainder of September for Aries All right, we got Justice that wanted to jump out. So some of you could be dealing with the Libra. We got Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces. Or someone here is really in their feelings about a decision. There's some confusion going on. It could be in regards to someone uh, being uh, sneaky or manipulative or de deceptive. Okay, so let's see. Some of you could be dealing with the court system as well. We got the Eight of Swords and the Hierophant. So somebody feels like they're stuck in a situation. Ooh, in a relationship and a connection. Some of you guys want something new, but you're still holding on. Okay, so you're still holding on. Some of y'all feel like y'all are stuck in a situation. Could be a marriage. Um, you feel like it's beneficial to you. With this six of wands here. Okay. Oh, but it looks like you feel defeated. Okay. You could be feeling defeated. This situation got you feeling a little stuck. Okay. So tell me more about this Eight of Swords. It looks like it could be a marriage or a connection that um, you've been in for a while. Tell me why the Eight of Swords is here. The Ten of Pentacles. Could be for the finances, okay? Could be to keep the family together. But I'm getting like you want to break. Like, I feel like you're brainstorming. Um, let's just get like you're brainstorming. Okay, tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles is here. The sun. Maybe you had this idea of things were going to be great, like we're going to be a happy family. Could be dealing with an Aquarius here or a Sagittarius. I'm getting an answered prayer. Okay, so this could have been a prayer. Like you prayed, um, you know, pray for this connection, uh, for better days for this for this connection. Maybe you feel like you your prayers haven't been answered yet for some of you. Um, why is justice here? Oh, chariot. Want to jump out? Some of y'all dealing with the cancer. All right, so some of y'all feel like you should move forward. Um, you're trying to find a way to move forward. We got the lovers and the nine of pentacles. Some of you are practicing self-love as well, too. Like, you're pressing forward, but at the same time, it just seems like you're um, either needing to practice self-love, self-care rituals, or this is like what's on your mind. You're thinking about this. Because this connection, it's not about this connection. Tell me about the two of cups. We got the star card here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius for sure. You feel like this isn't working. We got the four of cups and the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. There is no balance in this situation. Okay. You don't feel like this situation is working. Um, I feel like you prayed, you pray for this connection all the time. Like, you know. Where could this connection go? I want to see this connection through. Um, but it's just something about this connection that's just like, you know, it's not working. Why is the heart in here? Nine of Wands. 
Somebody may have broke the rules. Okay, the the rules could have been very traditional in this in this connection. Maybe somebody uh, has broken uh, the rules. Could be a Leo, okay, or a fire sign like yourself. Someone could have stepped outside of this connection. Okay, tell me more about the nine of wands, the five of wands. Some of you have been dealing with competition. Um, Arguing. Yeah, and this caused the connection to fall apart with the Tower and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so the connection is, the foundation is being shaken right now. All right, now we got the Ace of Cups in the past. We got the Devil. All right, so, and the Strength card. I mean, it could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Capricorn, or Leo. But it's like, the past, I feel like you felt like this connection was extremely toxic. Like, I feel like there's attachment issues, there's codependency issues as well, too. Um, and I'm getting that there's like a lot of back and forth energy not knowing where someone wants to be or something. I'm kind of hearing like Donnell Jones, like, but when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how I feel so sad. Now that I want to leave, she's crying a heart to me. How could you let this be? I just need time to see where I want to be. Where I want to be. I'm definitely hearing that energy. For some of you, this is a baby mother, baby father situation. So children could be involved. So it's not that easy to walk away. But the situation seems like it has gotten extremely toxic. Okay. Like I said, this is like a strong attachment. Like someone has attachment issues really don't know how to detach themselves from the situation someone here could be um have really obsessive behavior controlling behavior um that's trickling into this connection that is breaking this foundation down now we got the four of pentacles here for future energy it looks like you're still holding on to this connection could be a fire sign leo sagittarius aries or some of you are trying to keep the fire going I feel like some of you know that this person may have other options. Okay, we got the High Priestess and the Seven of Cups. Maybe you know that this person has other options. I'm getting that there could be a separation. Like, I'm getting for some and not all that this involves a marriage. Okay, I feel like there's been a separation with the Four of Swords and the Three of Swords here. This just screams separation. Um, someone... Um, had got them some options, okay? So someone, I feel like this is your intuition telling you, like, I know what's going on. I'm not crazy. I know they have other options. We were separated. Why is the Queen of Wands in? Nine of Swords. Okay? It looks like you could be a little stressed out. Overthinking the situation. The lovers. Oh, you love this person. You love this person. I feel like you want to keep the fire and the passion in this connection. Um, I feel like you're overthinking and maybe you're staying up late at night trying to figure out what can you do to fix this connection. We got the six of wands here and the four of wands. Yeah, for some, there is definitely a marriage here. Um, and I'm getting like the perfect picture. Like you pictured this to be really happy. Like you picture this scenario, it's not going how you pictured it, okay? It's not going how you pictured it. Why is the four of wands here? The temperance. You want to fix, you You definitely want to fix this situation with temperance here. Like you really want to find balance. I feel like you've been praying for this connection to uh, uh, revitalize it, re reconcile, get it back to that place of balance and harmony. Because we got the tower here. The Tower and the Ten of Cups. So this foundation has definitely been shaken. All right. Now, the person that you're dealing with who's external to you, 
Their energy is the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Some truth may need to be revealed or some truth has already been revealed. Somebody has already spoken their truth, okay? But I feel like um, they are feeling like no effort has been, has been being put in, okay? They've been spying on you as well, okay? Um, their energy is kind of like, I'm going to make them wait. I'm going to be single for now. I know because I know that it hurts you. Like this person is, I'm getting this really spiteful energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy over here. But this person is like, I already told the truth or they already told the truth. The truth has already been spoken or is getting ready to be spoken. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles and this Ace of Swords. What's this truth? King of Cups. Yeah, they already said, told how they feel, felt. They're, they're saying, I already told you how I felt. I don't know if somebody, if you guys gave somebody your number, <laughs> but yeah, they are, they over here like, oh, playing tough. I already told how I felt, but in the, in your hopes and fears, we got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn's energy, Virgo energy, Taurus energy. Why is the Knight of Pentacles? He's very slow. Like, his, his pace is really, really slow, but he comes with a solid offer. With that Five of Pentacles, I feel like maybe you feel like I'm getting, if I move if I move too slow, then I'm going to miss out or I'm going to take a loss. We have the Five of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. King of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting, like, um, not really taking any action, slowing things down, okay? Because um, it looks like you're... You, your intuition is telling you to change your mind. So maybe you're coming towards this person, um, possibly with a love offer or to tell this person how you feel. But your intuition could be telling you, like, eh, you know, I'm not too certain. I, you know, you're thinking of considering changing your mind about going back. Um, the Five of Swords is the outcome. That's, why is the Five of Swords here? Eight of Wands. There may be some type of conversation. Someone could be asking for um, could be asking for money or asking for for some of you. This is the baby mother, baby father situation or a husband wife. Um, but I'm getting someone is asking for something, a favor, a gift, or money. Yeah, I'm saying don't ask me for. Money. I'm literally hearing somebody saying don't ask me for that. Don't ask me why are you asking me. Um, so I'm definitely getting that this person has this codependent energy. Like this person depends on you, uh, in some way, shape, or form. Am I the Ace of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, it's like they're waiting for you to get paid or waiting for, um, it's like I'm getting like waiting on you. They're waiting on you. Queen of Pentacles, like I said. This person, yeah, here's, here's this person come asking. It's like you feel like this person begs too much or acts too much. You want this person to stand up on their own too, stand up for themselves. You feel, or you feel like this person feels like the baby father or who, this is your energy. They, you feel like you give this person, like you give, 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 give to this person all the time. Give, 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 give to this person. I really feel that energy over here. Like I really feel that energy here. So this person is super duper codependent upon you. And you know what? I think I got that energy for you, uh, for one of you guys' readings before. All right, so that's the message that I got for you guys. Be sure to comment below in the comment section. Let me know what's going on. Energetically show this channel some love, guys. I'm trying to get everything back up and flowing, okay? I've been MIA for a month. I'm back on it. All right, so show, send your girl some thumbs up as well. Share with your family and your friends, all right? So until next time, guys, ciao for now.